Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. I'm Ella and in this video we are going to learn about more than 10 less used but super useful tools in Modify tab. I'm going to delete these objects and families and I will change the graphic display option just to move around better. And now let's just start. Tool number one, create parts. With this you can separate layers of your wall floor or even ceiling let's test it on a wall select a wall with lots of layers like this and draw it here select it and click on create part this way you will see each part each layer separately this is used when you want to show different layers material or thickness of a wall or floor if you select a layer you can see all of the information about this its volume length height and thickness if you just scroll down a little bit you will see this show shape handles here check it and then you will have these handles all around your layer and with them you can just move your layer to show other layers and their information you can do this for each layer and then you can just simply go to annotate and use text to create title and add thickness for them and also if you select them you can add these arrows like this to be more specific this is useful when you want to present an idea or element tool number two as you know there are different ways that you can use different material on a wall for example a split line or just using two walls on top of each other there's also another way that you can use to split faces in modify tab click on a split face and select your face it doesn't matter if you want to split a face on your roof on your floor or on your wall select that face and then you can just simply create boundaries where you want to split and hit finish now you have separate face on your wall and if you want to know how you can change its material we need to move to tool number three which is this paint option here to use this you just need to select your splitted face and click on this paint here click on the material that you want and then click on that splitted face tool number four is groups if you want to create groups of some elements let's say these three windows here you just need to select them and click on this icon here because we have selected only objects or families this is a model group let's call it window select them and move around go to plan and use mirror copy to paste it in wherever you want there are lots of things that you can change about this for example if you modify some element you will have them modified in all of the groups so this way you can save lots of time and also you can add or remove elements to your groups when it comes to large project especially bim project it's very useful so learn it and i guarantee you will use it one day by the way create similar is also one of the tools that you can see in modify tab you just need to select your element and click on create similar to create that family or element or you can just right click and select it from here modify tab tool number five this tool is very useful for presentation you just need to select that element and click on displace element this way you will have this gizmo which gives you ability to move your element to six direction so you can move it wherever you want and you can simply repeat this for each part each element on your way you can use it for your walls for your floors for your roof and you can show each part separately you can also add or remove things to them for example if you want to add these two columns to this part you just need to select it click on edit and active this option then you just simply need to select those parts that you want to add and then hit finish if you want to learn how you can use this tool in depth, you can watch this video in top right corner where I used it to create an exploded view for a full project. 
Tool number six. Let's say you have lots of different families or objects in a view and there are something specific about some of them. You need them separately. You don't want to waste your time selecting them each time. Let's say you want this one, this one and these. This option is active when you select more than one family or element. You're going to create selection. Click on save here and give it a name. Now, if you want to use the same chairs in this part, you just need to go to manage and load your selection from here. Select it. Okay. And you can just simply copy them to this part or this part. This option is useful when you want to work with rebars or things or objects that you are using multiple times in your project. If you want to save your time, learn how you can use this option. Tool number seven. If you are working on a renovation project or redesign project, this tool is very useful for you. Let's say you want to destroy this wall and create something else. How you want to show you want to demolish this? You have this option here. You just need to click on it and then simply select the wall that you want to destroy. You see that it will become something like this. And with this, you can just simply show part that you want to destroy. It works on elements, it works on door and windows, and if you have any families, you can use it for them too. It's simple, easy to use, and very helpful. Tool number eight, how you can create dormers like this. It's pretty easy actually. You just need to create three walls and then attach their bottom, their base to a floor or this roof. Then create a roof for them and attach their top to this roof. This way you will have something like this. It's pretty clean, it's fit, but we have this overlap here between this roof and this roof. How you can fix this with this join roof option here? You just need to select it and then select the edge or the face that you want to be attached like this one and then select the face of the main roof and it will attach perfectly like this now you have no overlap go to architecture and use this opening shaft by face to delete and remove these parts tool number nine let's create these walls here with different layers in here you can see that each corner in this part are joined together clean and simply if you want to change your wall joint you just need to click on this option here hover your mouse over your corner and you will have all of these options here you can use butt or meter to change all of the joints like this and you have this square of which i have no idea what is its difference with this option in this way you have three options here clean join and use view setting are basically the same and if you want to show there is no join between these two walls you can use this option which gives you this view and in this part you can choose if you want your walls to be joined or unjoined like this tool number 10 which is very similar to wall joint is beam or comb joints let's go to structural view and create some beams this option beam join beam comb join works only on beams in corner and it's not working in this part if you click on it and you will see this one grays out and these arrows appears here by just simply clicking on these arrows you can change their connection type you can also have something like this and you can lock it with here use this if you want to have clean and accurate beam or comms while we are here let's test another tool for this part you see that there is this distance between these two beams and if you extend one of them they will not join simply to fix this you need to cope this beam click on this option here and then click on your beam that and its reference like this if you go to left view you see that it's cut exactly to the shape of this beam and if you want to change this distance this coping distance here just go to properties and scroll down a little bit you can see this coping distance here if you want it to be more just give 
whatever number that you want but if you want to have no distance enter zero and then you will have this clean coke like this tool number 12 which is the last tool that we are going to talk about in modify tab is this match type properties we have something similar in autocad which is very useful and actually you can use it in here as well you need to just simply click on it and then select your reference object family or element like this and click on the family that you want to be changed like this with this option you can match all of the options and parameters in type properties so yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any comments or questions leave them in comment section below and i will see you in the next tutorial